In this video today, we're taking a look at the 2017 Nissan Murano with the technology package. One small disclaimer before we do get started, this one also has the Midnight Edition package. So um, kind of ignore those features now for, for um, to keep in mind, the rest of the Muranos are not gonna have the blacked out wheels, blacked out uh, roof rails and side mirrors. Uh, just one thing, just one just small thing to keep in mind. They are gonna be alloy wheels. The wheels are gonna be pretty much the same except just not black. But the rest of the features I'm gonna talk about in this video are specific only to the Murano with the technology package. Now, we're not gonna go into too much detail in the rest of the video comparing features of different models. We're gonna be covering what features are added if you decide to option out the technology package. So uh, let's go ahead and get it started and go take a look. So starting off the vehicle, there's a few key things you can start to notice right away. So underneath the vehicle in the Platinum Murano with the uh, technology package, you're gonna see this little square here. Now that small square is actually really, really important and it's actually one of the main features with the technology package. So now what that does is the radar that goes underneath the vehicle that can scan a vehicle in front of you and the vehicle in front of that. Now that's gonna help a lot with the forward collision warning and everything like that. So with the technology package, not only does it add a couple of technology features, but it also adds some really important safety features. So forward emergency braking, forward collision warning, and intelligent cruise control. And that's really all housed by this small little radar right there. So forward emergency braking, if uh, you're not paying attention and the vehicle detects a collision it can also it can first warn you to let you know to get on the brakes because you're about to get into an accident but if you fail to do so it can automatically engage the brakes for you to try to avoid a collision or lessen the severity of it now a really nice thing to be included in this technology package that you can see from the outside is this nice panoramic moonroof now what that does, it's a really nice smooth roof for it that travels all the way to the back seats, which we're gonna take a look at right now, to give really excellent visibility. So we're gonna open it up and take a look in just a second. Now from the, uh, from the outside, there's really um, all of the changes you can see. So the biggest changes, I mean, this being a platinum model, it's already top of the line. The technology package just makes it a little bit better. So. Uh, we, we can get into, uh, into detail in a different video talking about what features are added when you option out to the Platinum Edition, but um, pretty, pretty much Platinum is already top of the line. There's really not, not, not many things to be added with the technology package, but it does give you some of the more important features that you might want. Some people may not want it, that's why it's not standard, but for the people that do want these features, you can option the Platinum with the technology package and take advantage of all of that. Now, aside from the safety features that I did mention as forward collision warning and forward emergency braking, there's also one really nice comfort feature of really a uh, convenience feature, uh, which is added again with that nice radar control right there, is intelligent cruise control. So if you're sitting in traffic, you can turn the cruise control on and the vehicle will be able to um, guide, guide its own speed there. So if you set it to 60, but traffic slowed down, uh, the vehicle can actually slow down itself to keep up with traffic and once uh, the speed speeds up again it'll go actually go right back to 60, 60 automatically you don't have to adjust anything it can also com come to a complete stop if it has to you would just have to resume the cruise control again after that so the intelligent cruise control really it has a lot of the comfort features there's no more you know stop and go stop and go traffic just set cruise control on and you're you're good to go you can also turn it off if you decide to and switch back to regular cruise control but right out of the box, you have it set to intelligent cruise control when you active the, activate the cruise control. Now, speaking of that, we're gonna go ahead and hop into the inside and take a look at what I'm want, talking about. So this being the Platinum Edition, you do have a nice um, navigation touchscreen system. It's a really nice infotainment system, but we're not gonna get into that in this video here. Again, like I said, I'm only going to be talking about what features are going to be in the technology package. So as soon as you turn it on, you'll see you have the rest of the cruise control features, the cruise control buttons here. So you have regular cruise control on and off, so you can set that there. But now one thing that you're going to notice, you actually have a new button here. So when you press cruise control on, you'll see 
you have this nice distance meter here. So once you actually set it to a, a speed, you'll see the, the speed where it says miles per hour. But one, one thing you notice is these three bars here. Now that is the following uh, meter, the distance meter. So that's, you know, three, me three bars means you're uh, following a little bit further away. And that can be adjusted by this button here. So when I start to press it, you'll start the distance going away. So three would be the most, which means it'll set, it'll, let's say be at 60 miles an hour and have a certain set distance away from the closest car to you. Now, as the bars start decreasing, the following distance will also increase, decrease as well. So one would be you're following the car in front of you pretty close while either maintaining the 60 miles an hour or less depending on the flow of traffic. So again, it can almost pretty much drive itself. You you just have to control the steering wheel itself. It'll if the car in front of you is going to slow down, again it's going to slow down with it and keep that same following distance if it has to. And again, you can adjust that at any moment while you're driving. All you have to do is just press this button here and the driving d distance will adjust automatically. Now, the last thing to know, I did mention uh, the power panoramic moonroof is actually connected. It's actually controlled by this button right over here. So as soon as we press it, it's a one touch. You can stop it if you want to, if you don't want it to open up all the way, or you can let it open up all the way. Now we're going to take a city in the back in just a bit so we can see what the space is like back there. But as you can see, it's a really nice dual moonroof with uh, open tilt feature here or you can open the glass itself if you decide to and it's all one touch you don't have to keep on holding it press it and it can do it automatically or if you can want to control exactly how much you don't want to open it all the way you have the control there too now let's go ahead and hop into the back and really observe the nice view from back there now, the Murano being a full-size, or almost full-size SUV, it's a full-size space with a five-seater package. You can see there's ample legroom, ample headroom. Even with the addition of the of the moonroof itself, my headspace is not affected at all. I'm actually sitting pretty comfortable here. Uh, I, do, I do have to just uh, adjust the seat a little bit. Here's the, the back itself is a little bit too straight. But aside from that, as you can see here, you have this nice view from the back seats. So whether you're sitting in the front row, second row, you can take advantage of that nice power panoramic moonroof and be comfy. Now, as you see, now that I adjusted my seat, my headroom is not affected. I'm, I'm a little bit under six feet, maybe 5'11", around there. But leg room, really, really comfortable. And I have this really nice view of LA from the rear seat. So again, whether you're in the front row or in the second row, you're gonna be really, really comfortable in the Nissan Murano with the, uh, in platinum model with the technology package. So this has been your in-depth look at the 2017 Nissan Murano with the technology package. For more information on a Nissan Murano platinum without the technology package, make sure to check out the channel where we're gonna go into detail there, as well as the different trim levels and different models from everything from versa to gtr we're going to be covering in this channel so make sure to subscribe for more videos if you have any questions or comments feel free to for leave a comment message and we're going to try our best to answer so again this has been your in-depth look at the 2017 nissan murano platinum with the technology package